Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming and today we have a budget baby Zorark deck. So, how's this deck work? Well, for the Zorark here, we're after his Night Punishment attack. So for three NGs, it does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So we need a way to get lots of Pokemon into the discard pile. We have many ways to do that. We've got Viridian Forest, which allows us to discard Pokemon from our hands. We have Ultra Balls to discard Pokemon from our hand. Plus we have the Spirit Tomb in the early game with a Spirit Compressor, which allows us to search for four Pokemon and discard them, which we're getting rid of the other Spirit Tombs or other Pokemon here to power up our Zorark which then leads us to the energy cost. And we're building this deck around being able to attack as consistently as we can with the Zorark because this energy cost is hard to get and maintain. So we've upped our EXP share count to three EXP shares, which allows us to save one of these darkness energies if we need to when our Zorark gets KO'd. And we do have a secondary attacker here just in case we don't have a Zorark ready to go. It's a lowland Persian with empty threat for no energies. It allows us to attack, attach the energy onto our Zorark to get it ready to roll, but just provides us a secondary attacker as well. Now, you will notice that in one of the earlier games I was playing, I was playing with a Black Market Prism Star. What I discovered in with the Black Market Prism Star is it does not play nicely with EXP share because apparently the EXP share removes the darkness energy first and then you lose the prize card because your Pokemon's been KO'd without any Darkness Energy on it. So that's something I learned. So out went that Dark, um, the Prism Star, and in came the Shrine of Punishment, which chips into GX Pokemon if we need to quite nicely. So that's the deck. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello, Mazer Rackham, and welcome. All right, so I'm going first, I think. So we'll go Spirit Team up front. And we'll chuck the Meowth down, we'll chuck the Zorua down. Although, do I really want to chuck both down? We'll definitely chuck the Zorua down. And we'll make that decision on the Meowth after. Depending on what I top deck, I may need to thin this pretty hard. So we do have an EXP share that can go onto the Zorua. I think we're gonna Ultra Ball and get you two out of here. And we're gonna go and pull in the Orangaroo. And we're gonna Nest Ball and get myself. I just feel like getting myself a Meowth is a good idea as well. Get myself a Zerua. My thinking here is I do put the DC onto the Zerua. We'll instruct. Not the one that I just got. Fortunately, I don't get anything that's really playable. Don't want to chuck a Viridian Forest down right now. So at the moment, we're done. We're a little bit bricked. Only one Pokemon in the discard. Spirit Tomb can change that. So what are you accelerating here? Are you accelerating to a Magilord? Psychic. Uh, accelerating to Eevee and Snorlax? Or Latias and Latios? Potentially both. It's probably what it is. Latias and Latios, Tappy Lele. So definitely a GX variant. Tappy Lele's I can get to one shot range of, so I'm pretty happy with that. The tag teams are a little bit more awkward. So what I'm probably looking at here is... Chucking the NG onto the Zerua, ousting his stadium uh, with the Viridian Forest at the moment. Not necessarily because I'm looking for value out of it. I uh, chucking the NG onto the Spirit Team actually, because I need to actually get a Spirit Compressor off to thin this deck. So I thin this hand. Couple of Staryus. 
Who's your main attacker though? Starmie would not be in a main attacker in this. Not going to see who your main attacker is this early. Alright. We do have a draw supporter, which is kind of nice. So, NG on to you before I forget. We will Viridian Forest that. We will get a draw out of our Rangaroo. A load of Meowth, you can go down. Yeah, this one can go down. And we'll shuffle. And this one can be replaced with an NG. How many have I got here at the moment? Two. And they're both Meowths. So right here, we're going to Spirit Compressor. And we're getting rid of all Spirit Tombs. And... One Persian, one Orangaroo. So there's two, four, five, six. So I should hopefully at least have the KO. So yep, it's the Latios and Latios. On the Starmie at least. Be a shame if he didn't get into the Starmie this turn. Although he could paralyze me. If he didn't, he's got the Pokecom, so he's got to the Starmie. It gives him a free retreater. Especially if he gets that Starmie up as well. Just to make things a little bit more awkward. So this is going to hit him for 40. And tap it Lele. What are you going to go and get yourself? I wonder if you're going to go for the old Judge play. Not the old Guzma play. Surely not this turn. No, you've used a supporter this turn. Interesting that you're pulling that in that early. I should add a Marsh Shadow to this deck. Maybe get rid of an Orangaroo and get a Marsh Shadow. Shimmy are probably going to go after this Sarua that's got the EXP share, maybe. Now, I don't actually have an attack right here. Still got a bit that actually has to happen. So we have to Cynthia. Look for our way into a Zoroark. We do get it. So Zoroark is up. We're going to get a Lowland Persian up. And we'll go and get... Oh... I'm out of Zeruas. Two of them are prize. That's going to be awkward. Okay. So Lola Meowth, you're up. That's just saying it's going to have to happen. And we'll retreat out to the Zorak. Unfortunately, we can only take the one prize here. Got one of my Zeruas, so that's good. Be interesting to see whether or not he's going with the Guzma. At the moment there's no Inkays, so there's no Malamars coming. Swablu, so yeah, you're not a Psychic Recharge deck, so this is an expensive deck to use. I mean, you're discarding three NGs at a time. So, yep, you do have the KO there. 
I need DCE to be able to attack, and the Zoroark to be able to attack on my next turn. Effectively. And there is no guarantee that I have that. The other idea, I either need to increase, I think, the XP share, or, like, count that I've got, or we'll get the Pokemon that can move them. The Guzma's nice. What do I Guzma? Do I go and bring a two... Um... He does have the Guzma back. Just gives me more time. That's why I'm thinking the Guzma is nice here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Guzma. We'll start setting up this Zuru down here. Who do I think is the biggest threat? I kind of want him stuck at the same time. So maybe the Oranguru. This is potentially a tasty two prize cards. But he'll just Guzma straight back. Let's Guzma to the Oranguru just to make retreating hard and force the Guzma back out of him. And we shall instruct for one here. Get some value out of the Oranguru. Got a Zoroark that I can play. Might hold on who I play that down on. So empty threat this stage. And just hit in on this Oranguru. So it gives him more time to set up the Latias and Latios. Who are you going to go to? Latias and Latios. I knew I was going to draw that Guzma back. Water energy down onto the Tapi Lele is an interesting call. Ah, yeah, because you're going to GX, of course. And prevents all damage on this turn, but I'm probably not attacking this turn. I'm just buying myself time to set up. That's really all that play was about. How many uh, have I got in the discard at the moment? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's nearly fully powered. So at this stage, we're going a second NG onto you. And the Zorak onto you. And we shall Cynthia for a fresh hand. We have another cat. Who do I put the EXP share on? I don't have any switches still. Do I need that cat? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put the cat out here. I could thin for a pull from the Oranguru. But right now, no, I'm just, let's just sit tight. Once again, it's an expensive attack. The Buster Perch. Be interesting whether he decides to manly retreat and hit him with Tapi Lele instead. No. Gonna go with the old Buster Purge. Expensive, just for the one prize card. And I'm thinking I'm feeling okay with that. So now I've just got to think about what am I actually going for. Do I go for the Zorak or do I empty threat and start chipping in? I think we do chip damage, because I just want to bring you under 200. That's something that I do want to do. So I don't have any Zorua's left. I think this Nest Ball is completely useless to me. Yeah, it is. Alright, so no Zorua's left. Really don't want to see a Field Blower. So, EXP share onto this Zoroark. 
We're going to Ultra Ball here. You two away. I kind of don't want to throw away the stadium either, but we'll get our other Zoroark as well. And we're going to Sightseer now. Get ourselves a fresh hand. We do have the DCE. We could chuck an NG onto you and oust my stadium. But then if he has any stadiums, I'm done for the game. In stadium usage. But it could be helpful. So that's what we're going to do with oust the stadium. Gives me the retreat for next turn as well. Which is really important if I need that. So we'll empty threat. And I'm assuming this is going to be a retreat out of this to the Tappy Lele. Now he's got the switch card to the Tappy Lele. And right here, I can now hit him with either Zoroark on the next turn. So if he attacks with Tappy Lele, which I'm assuming is coming, I do have two prize cards. He does need to try and oust that stadium if he wants to take a prize card here. He's getting the Starmie ready to get Latias and Latios up again. An expensive deck, and without NG recharging, it's an interesting, interesting approach. So, no prize card for you. Denial of prize cards. Uh, we will save that NG though. And we'll chuck that NG onto this Zoroark at the moment so I don't have to use the DCE on you. And we'll chuck Zoroark down. Hang on. This damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. Why did you get a prize card? Is there something I don't understand? You had a darkness NG on you. Is there just something I completely don't understand about what just happened there? Because I really don't understand what just happened. Why did he get the prize card? Do kind of wish I probably didn't Cynthia. I need that Guzma now. I don't actually understand why he was able to take the prize card there. So Black Mark Prison Star, when you uh, when a Darkness Pokemon, yours is an opponent that has any Darkness Pokemon a uh, Darkness Energy attached to it, knocked out by attack, the player takes one pure prize card. I had an energy on you. Why are you max potioning the Orangaroo? Please be Tails. Good. I am so confused right now. Was that a glitch of some kind? DC onto you. Well, Ultra Ball away you two because I'm not interested in you guys anymore. Do you have one Guzma remaining? No Darkness NG. We'll Nest Ball just to burn that. Got to be very careful actually. So drawing three, I've got two turns to win this. Got the Guzma in hand, that's what I wanted. So, we Night Punishment, or do we actually Taunt? Nah, because you can get out of that. So, we'll Night Punishment. 
Get this Starmie. Sorry. And now I have two winning options here. I'm still confused by that. Is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack. I was knocked out by damage from the opponent's attack, wasn't I? I'm going to have to look back on the footage of this match. Really, I'm going to have to look at the footage of this match because I don't understand that. Fresh Latias and Latios. You're going to have to do something here. Because I do have a lot of ways to get to the victory. It looks like I've got it. So I'll just take out the Tappy Lele, that's all I need to take out. So we'll Guzma here, go and get the Tappy Lele. And we Night Punishment for game. Alright, there we go. Deck worked quite nicely there. Yeah. Still confused about that. I need to go back and look at this footage because that didn't make sense to me. Hello, Golden Boo. Welcome. Really need to take notice of whether I'm going first or second. And what I actually want to do. So, well, let me off down. Rack a spirit tomb down, why not? And we'll rack a Zoroa down as well. And we're pretty fun, pretty happy with that. So we've got Zeb Striker. Just some kind of lightning endy lightning deck. Yeah, we'll grab a couple more cards. Nultrable is really good here. So I'm going second, not going to have the cheeky KO, but at least I can get a bit of damage onto that Tappy Coco. So this is all about damage spread. So how many Pokemon I actually put down onto the bench is going to be pretty critical here. Don't want too many Pokemon down at once. Alright, no NGs on the uh, field just yet. So, we don't want a second Spirit Tomb, that's for sure. We're going to chuck the NG onto the Zerua here. We are going to get rid of you 2 because I've got plenty of Persians. And we'll go and get ourselves another Zerua, is that what I want? I kind of don't want to put too many Pokemon onto the field right now. Chuck the Shrine out there. Or Cynthia. We don't want any more Pokemon on the field. So no matter what, no more Pokemon onto the field. So that means we're just spoiling the fun. I do need to try and go and find that Persian if I'm going to continue attacking here. Or the Zorak. But it's going to be a bit hard to get the Zorak going, so... We got the DCE. The Persian with two NGs is going to be hitting for 30. That's not enough. So I'd need a Guzma. Which makes things a bit more awkward. Electro power, okay. Double electro power, really wants that Meowth out of here. So switching the Meowth isn't going to be a thing I have to worry about anymore. Two, it's hitting for 40. Trying to get a luff Pokemon in the discard is probably going to be something I have to worry about. Really focused on damage spread. And I mean really focused on damage spread. So 
So we'll go Viridian Forest down. And got Zapdos as well to hit in. Damage spread Zapdos. Alright, so Zorua, you're up. Really don't want to put another Pokemon down for him. I know this helps his Zapdos. And I don't like that either. But I need Pokemon in the discard. So we're going to Cynthia here. And I have my way into what I need at the moment. So we're going to get rid of the two of you. Go and get me a Zoroark. DC down on you. Rangaroo, please be an XP share. Nope, no XP share. And that's hitting for a hundred. Let's taunt that Zapdos in. Just saying with high um, retreat. So he's going to retreat manually. Burn to DC at least. Do you have any lightning energies in... Oh yeah, you've got one. So we're going to continue sprinting through the deck. Getting the Electro Recharge. Double Tails. Professor Kikui. Another <laughs> Electro Charger. Quad Tails, ouch. Gonna chuck the shrine in. I'm a bit of strife here. I mean, even if I Guzma, he's got this Zorak on the next play. I do have to shuffle. Darkness NG onto this Zerua. I'm going to Ultra Ball away the two cats. Go and get ourselves the Zoroark just to protect it. And please pull me in a DCE. Oh, not DCE. I, um, I'll save the Nest Ball. I wanted the XP share. Oh well, we shall Night Punishment. Get rid of this Tappy Coco. Get a prize card here. So I need to find a DCE now. So the Zapdos has got the KO on the Zoroark, which at least won't spread damage. So we'll go this Zorak up front. Hopefully we're going to oust this Zapdos. Oh, and now the XP share decides to uh, show itself. Good work. Good work. How many DCEs do I have? Three. I need to find it. That's just an absolute must. So we're going to sightsee. We're not going to get rid of any cards at the moment. Don't find the DCE. What I'm thinking we do... You have free retreat, don't you? 
Oh, one retreat. So that is not an option. And I really can't thin this hand at all. Unless I play you down. Alright, that's what I'm going to have to do. We don't want to taunt. We've got the card we want in the active at the moment. So we'll just pass it over. See if he's got some switching. So he's got the electro power to power it up. The NG Lotto. So at the moment he's hitting for 40. Gonna Lily. He's looking for a switch of some kind, I'm assuming. He does have the switch. So he has the KO. With damage spread. Got an escape rope. I mean, he got the KO, so had the spirit team. I'm a little bit surprised by the escape rope at that point. Because I'll happily give you the spirit team. Saves me an attacker. You're much better off taking the Zoroark. Much, much, much better off taking the Zoroark when you had the chance. So, we go Zoroark down. Alolan Persian down. So I see first, and I'll instruct first. Instruct for one, see what I get myself into. An Ultra Ball. Do I need anything right now? I'm actually going to oust the Ultra Ball here. Got the DCE. An expensive way to do this. To attack here, but I'm going to have to. Don't have a lot of choice in that. Um, Lowland Persian, do you want an XP share? We'll make that decision later. Uh, we'll chuck an EXP share down, why not? And we shall Night Punishment. Get this Zapdos out of here. I'm assuming there is a high chance of another Zapdos coming my way. He's going to be attacking with Zapdos from here out in. Here on out, whatever you want to call it. Continue with the Tails. Oh, he got one back. That's disappointing. Two sprints now. He's going to have to be careful he doesn't run out of his deck. Finally I could find my black market. To start denying <laughs> denying cards. But I've just got to be careful because... Oh, I don't have black market anymore. That's right. I got rid of it. Because <laughs> I discover when you're running EXP shares that... If you take your darkness energy off... In that order, then it works against you. So you're going to go with damage spread afterwards. Alright, that works for me. That works quite nicely for me because I do have the KO here. And yeah, I think I could get around it quite nicely. He sprinted too quickly to his, through his deck. Hello, Udaya. And welcome. Alright, so we'll go Spirit Team up front. We will chuck the Orangari down back. We do have a draw supporter, which is really nice. No engies at this stage, but we do have a couple of nest balls. So I'm okay with this starting hand. So nest balls are probably to get myself out a couple of Zoro Zoroas. In the early stage. So we're done there. And then we're just synthering out of here. Orangaroo in the front line. 
I'm not allowed to deal for you. So we'll go and get ourselves a Zerua. We're gonna have to wait to switch as well. We'll find a way to switch. Which could be a little bit awkward. So a couple of Zeruas down. We'll Cynthia for a new hand. Do have a Meowth that I can play. Which I'm gonna play here. Sounds pretty good to me. And we'll go DCE onto the Zura in the back line. And I'm pretty happy with that. So the early stage, I'm not necessarily after the immediate retreat of the Spirit Tomb. So I'm assuming this is grown up Zoroark, judging by the cards that are coming here. So the Zoroark GX. And Ninkata. All right. And a lot of the Meowth. Okay, maybe not. Mirror match, maybe. I don't know. We shall see. So you're going to be trying to deny prize cards. Crushing Hammer. So this deck's just about being as annoying as possible. That could hurt me. Oh, got what I need to get around it. Crushing Hammer again. Good. You deserve those tails. Good. Good. Take that. Three tails in a row. Luck is on my side. <laughs> I am not usually that lucky. Luck is on my side. Gonna spoil the fun and take the KO on the Spirit Tomb. That is annoying. All right. Good call on the Persian. We'll fight cat with cat, if that's how you want to play it. Chuck the NG onto you, the XP share onto you. And we'll Orangaroo for one. See what I pull out of it. Cynthia. Uh, I think I like the Cynthia a bit more. And we do have another Alolan Persian and Meowth set up that I could go for. Or I could Ultra Ball and start seeing myself up the Zoroark. Given that he is about NG removal and things like that, I'm feeling like this is the play that I want to go with. For the moment. And we'll just hold. It's empty threat. Get rid of this cat. Hopefully the Marsh Shadow hurt you as well. And we'll play it from there. Interesting that Ninkata's coming up. So you're going to Guzma. Okay. Go on to try and get me stuck. Yep. Go on to try and get me stuck. And probably protect prize cards at the same time now. So... We're probably trying to find ourselves a Guzma here. That's what we're probably going for. Desperately find that Guzma. This is quite a neat little way to play. The... Um, Alolan Persian, actually. Deny prize cards, and if I remove the tools, it just powers up in the back. So, kind of neat. I like it. I don't like your nasty attempts of trying to... Hmm... Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of you two. Don't need you. Don't like your nasty champs to try and remove my energy, so. And we'll go Zerua. Zerua down. EXP share. Hopefully find myself a Guzma. That'd be really nice. Go Titan Liza so I can switch. 
It's going to power up what he wants, but I feel like this is what I've got to do. So we'll switch. We'll go to the Alolan Persian at this stage. And we'll just empty threat the Marsh Shadow away. Don't get any prize cards for it. Send three Pokemon to the discard. Powering up that Zoroark that he's got coming quite nicely. Assuming that's here. It's got the DCE. Does he have the Zoroark? So I do have a guaranteed Zoroark coming next. Yep. I think I was able to play around it quite nicely. Now I'm going to check because I reckon that was a mirror match. Let's have a look here. And uh, let's see if he's got his deck available. No, he doesn't. But I do reckon that was a mirror match. And um, yeah. Hello, Rickster, and welcome. We are going Spirit Team up front. Do I ring Roo down? Yes, definitely. Look at all these basic Pokemon. Or Pokemon in hand. It's a little bit over the top ridiculous. And I am completely bricked too. An Ultra Ball would be really nice here, I reckon. And the ultimate start would be being able to get an Ultra Ball. Being able to use an Instruct. Wow, my opponent's bricked as well. Hmm. Let's just Spirit Compressor. Start getting Pokemon out of here. Uh, get rid of both of you. And a line of you. That'll uh, loop. At least my opponent's pricked. No idea what he's playing yet. Buzzwell. That's not handy. Not handy at all. Still bricked. And sadly, I now have to make a decision about what I'm doing. We're going to have to go a second Orangery down. I really don't want it down, but we just have to try and find our way into our first draw support. Have yourself an NG. We definitely don't want any of you guys back. Well, we have found our, all of our Pokemon straight away. That's for sure. Is there anything else I do want to put in? Only Pokemon are here. Two, four. This will be fire. They'll be hitting for a hundred. Gonna have to hit for more. So Spirit Compressor. And just another line of you guys. And that should be enough now. Way too many Pokemon to begin this match. No draw supports. Alright, so we're going Zorak up front. We're going to have to be super aggressive now if I don't pull anything. A Nest Ball. Go and get ourselves another Zerua or a Meowth. Maybe go and get ourselves the Meowth. We'll instruct for one. We're working nearly halfway through our deck. Get rid of both of these guys. Go and get an Zerua here. Hello, draw support. Do you exist? Apparently the answer to that is no. Draw support does not exist. But at least I've got a Night Punishment off that will get the KO. With no immediate obvious attacker coming next. 
So I'm glad my opponent does appear to be a bit bricked as well. I <laughs> literally 30 cards through. Well, obviously, a few of them are priced. And not a single sign of a draw support yet. Not one single sign of a draw support. Got the Ace of Roller to get the Tapu Lele out. Tapu Lele down. I'm guessing this is just to try and get yourself set up. Please don't get the Deancey's here. Good. So I do have the KO on this to try and start setting up another Zoroark. I seriously can't believe this. Come on. Nah. Still nothing. Well, we'll go and get ourselves a Zoroark out here. Zoroark. Do you have weakness? Persian. Yeah, you do. So it's the spirit teams that don't have the weakness. We'll go and get Zorak. And we'll Oranguru again. I have a good deck. You haven't seen a single draw support. I'll agree with you when I have a draw support. There we go. Have yourself an EXP share, an EXP share. And thank you. Is that my first supporter? Yeah, not only is it draw support, like, it's first supporter I've seen. Okay. Night Punishment. Get rid of that Buzzwell again. And he did use the tap later against Cynthia as saying to try and get himself going. Alright, we have Marshadow as well. So can he get himself attacking again? Because if he can't, then I've got the Tappy Lele. Out. So does he have a switch or something? No, so Tappy Lele's out. I take a huge advantage now. We'll DCE on to you. We will... Cynthia at this stage. Just want different cards in hand. Didn't quite get what I was hoping for, but this will do. Night Punishment. Got myself two more prize cards. Another EXP share and a load of Meowth. So if he does get the KO here, which he should, then I go Zerua down with another EXP share onto it. Getting myself ready. He's had to Cynthia here. What's this GX attack do? This time is 50 times the amount of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay. Uh, we're moving this one to you. And we've actually got game here. I don't need to do anything more. So as badly bricked as I was, we uh, end up getting game. Yeah. <laughs> I hate bricked as well though. So it was bricked versus bricked and mine seemed to flow just that little bit better. And it is time to rate this deck. So starting with damage here, the night punishment attack, once you do get it built up, 200 damage is a lot of pressure to put on your opponent and you can snipe away two prize card Pokemon such as Tapu Lele's or things like that if they're playing them quite nicely here for a one prize card trade. So once you do get this built up, the 200 is quite good. It's not KOing tag teams, so especially if you've got a healing tag team deck, that can be a bit annoying. But otherwise, that constant 200 hitting, if you can consistently do that, puts a lot of pressure on your opponent, especially for a one prize card attacker. So for that reason, I'm giving a 9 out of 10. The defense side of things here, well that's a different story. We've got nothing that can tank 
and 120 just isn't good enough uh, to really last for a really long time. So these things are going down really easily. The only saving grace is the one prize card that you lose, and that's what you're really after here is that one for two trade or something like that if we're up against GX decks. So for that reason, I'm giving the defense a seven out of 10. For reliability, this is a slow build deck. You've got to get a lot of Pokemon into the discard to get your Zoroark up and attacking. Plus, you're a minimum of two energy attachments, a minimum of that, to getting this thing up and going. So if you do have to use the Spirit Tomb, you might be attacking turn three with the Zoroark at the earliest, potentially. Hence the reason why I've got the Alolan Persian here. That does help a little bit. So we can attack early with the Alolan Persian if we can get enough Ultra Bulls and Viridian Forest and a Pokemon in our hand to build the Zoroark without having to go the Spirit Tomb route. Doesn't happen all that often. If it does, it's kind of nice, but often you go on the Spirit Tomb route, which is a slow build. Plus, you've got to get three NGs to attack consistently. The XP shares help with this, but if you run into Field Blower, this deck's consistency just goes out the window. So for reliability here, giving it a six out of 10. If you don't come up against Field Blower, it works kind of nicely. Field Blower does kill this deck though. So overall, what do I think? This deck did surprise me. It won more than it lost, and I was kind of surprised by that. It worked kind of nicely. So I'm giving it a seven out of 10 overall, the Field Blower games, or if you're up against Celebi and Venusaurs or something like that, it's definitely not gonna take those down too easily. But otherwise, it was kind of nice. So yeah, seven out of 10 for me.